for that, I say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, yes, in the words of Matthew McConaughey, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, my name is Paul Walker, and welcome to the first live stream, the first video of this new channel. So, um, we're going to go through a little bit of, I guess, uh, an introduction to myself and uh, give you a bit of an outline what I hope to do with this channel, what I hope to achieve, um, where I sort of see this channel going and what does that mean for you as the viewer? Is that something that you want to be a part of or you know, you'll watch this video and go, you know, you know what, this isn't really for me and that's fine too. So um, yeah, this really, as I said, is just a little bit of an introduction video. Um, you know, like all YouTubers, like anyone who's done anything, you you have to start somewhere. So this is my uh, starting uh, somewhere. <laughs> uh, this is my, yeah, first sort of video of this particular channel. Um, to give you a little bit of a brief sort of history, like I've done video before, I've, I've had sort of YouTube channels before, but nothing ever of really great significance and nothing that I really, you know, felt passionate enough that I wanted to do it full time or that I wanted to really, you know, dive into it sort of all guns blazing. So I'm going to talk about why that sort of changed a little bit now as compared to like years gone by. Why was that different? Um, and yeah, really just discuss, as I said, where where my vision for this channel is but ultimately where i'd like to get input from the viewers and from people uh who might be watching this video and thinking okay who is this guy uh this is a new youtube channel that i've just kind of come across uh why should i care why should i be invested and ultimately what you know what am i going to get out of it so we're going to kind of cover those sort of particular things just to give you an idea and then hopefully that'll make um, make your decision as to whether or not you want to subscribe or follow or anything like that uh, that'll make that decision easier for you and you'll kind of know yep I want to happy to follow along with this guy happy to contribute and come along for the journey or basically to this guy um there's other channels other things that i want to invest my time in so that's cool either way uh i get it so uh so we're going to do a little bit of an introduction so i'll do a little bit of a pan around here so you get to see um what what you can expect i guess sort of production wise um so i'm still trying to figure out yeah the background and the layout but for the time being this is kind of what I'm going to run with at the moment so uh, I've got the dead on sort of camera here uh, which is I guess you know primarily what I'll be using as kind of you know the main sort of scene and all that sort of stuff um, but I did get a second camera just to sort of change it up a little bit and to yeah give everyone a little bit of a, a different change of view keep the video sort of interesting uh, but also add some production value and most importantly some uh, creativity because for me uh, that's really what what I want to use this YouTube channel for is to get some of my creativity out and uh, use it on a platform and something where I feel like yeah I've got some skills and I've got some things that I would really like to yeah sort of jump into and, and see what I can create so um, that's the beauty of YouTube channels is they do give you uh, a little bit of variety that you can use video and audio um, overlays animation a, a bunch of different things um, so again if you stick around if you decide that you are going to continue to keep watching the show uh, then hopefully you'll see those production values and that, and that creativity uh, sort of come into play um, what else have we got so I do have a bit of a um, yeah, share screen um, situation that again, it's not always going to look like this, but it's going to be something that I'm going to uh, muck around with. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, you heard the little uh, audio snippet there. So I've got a couple of other, you know, snippets that really 
I find funny, I think are going to come into play. Um, and the, you know, for, for instance, one is, uh, I really want this show to be about the truth. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I really want this, this channel to be something where it is a live forum of sorts. Um, and we're, we'll dive into, as I said, the topics and kind of where the truth is going to come come into play, and where that where that comes into play for you as as a potential viewer. Uh, I've got some other little gadgets and gadgets that are going to sort of come into play as well. Again, these are just things that make me laugh and things that I think will just add a little bit of production value to um, to the show, but. One of the words you're going to hear me say probably a lot is cool. So I thought I'd bring this little guy uh, to come to come share the, you know, the, the time with me because, as I said, I say cool a lot. I say awesome a lot. Uh, so I figured I'd bring this guy along to, to, to help out. Um, and I got a couple of other little sort of emojis and stuff like that. That again, I'm gonna yeah drop drop into place when you know when when the time calls for it. Um, and basically, yeah, just sort of use that as a way to help engage and, and add some production value. So we'll kind of come back to this one here. So again, I kind of got these lights just because you know I see a lot of YouTubers and I guess more so maybe the gamers kind of using these kind of led mood light things but yeah i thought you know i want to be something a little bit different i i, I do have a green screen and I, i've done some testing with the green screen but i kind of really wasn't happy with the the, the end result or I guess the on-screen result of what the green screen was giving to me so uh i thought okay let's let's just go back to kind of all natural just keep it bare bones but i'll get you know some lights and stuff here just to um, yeah again add some production value add some uh ambience ambience however you want to say that uh to to the video and yeah use this where um uh, doesn't matter day or night you know i can kind of create the lighting that i need and stuff so cool so a little bit about me um so as i said my name is paul walker um that is true uh that is a truth truth bomb uh it's purely by coincidence that there was the actor in fast and furious um he just happened to have the same name as me uh i think he was a little bit older maybe oh i want to say four or five years older than me i think um obviously i've seen the fast and furious movies so yeah uh, cool but yeah it's purely coincidence that we have the same name there is no blood relation as far as i'm aware um and this youtube channel is a play on that so obviously paul walker famously in the fast and furious movies uh so i wanted to call this channel a vast and curious life because that's really what i want to talk about on this channel is just we live in such a vast world and we live in such a curious and mysterious world and these are things that i find interesting uh i know other, other people do too um so yeah so that's that's the reason for the for the name uh a vast and curious life um call us a podcast call it a a, a vlog whatever you want to do uh, i kind of call it as i guess a youtube show uh, because my intention is to go live with each video uh, as opposed to doing like pre-recorded videos that get edited and then uploaded uh, I want this to be more of a live video live format sort of setting um, for two reasons one you know we kind of live life live um, so whatever mistakes whatever things might happen um, you're just going to have to roll with the punches and that's cool and I'm, I'm certainly happy and fine with that um, you'll probably come to see that I really don't care too much in, in that regard I'm happy to embarrass myself I'm happy to uh, make mistakes and be what they may uh, if I cop flack for it later after the fact then so be it 
but I'd rather, yeah, it, my choice live like that. And I'm not, as I said, I'm not too worried about uh, making a mistake. And if I do, then I'll just either hopefully laugh it off or if I get embarrassed by it, then I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that uh, as it comes. So that's kind of reason number one for the live streams. Number two, um, I really want to make this an interactive show. Um, there's nothing wrong with the pre-recorded videos and I, I, I get it. But for me, I, I, I want to use YouTube and the way that I sort of see technology in the future going. And certainly since because of this whole you know, pandemic thing, um, yeah, I really want to make this more interactive. I really want to have conversations with the viewers, uh, the people who potentially are going to watch the show um, and, uh, you know, interviews and all that sort of stuff. So that kind of segues into the topic. So we're going to talk about that in two seconds. But they're the two main reasons why this particular YouTube channel will be more of a live stream format. Uh, number one, I live life in the moment. Oh, I try to anyway. Um, so I'd rather just do a, a show like that. Um, but yeah, the live stream gives more interaction to the viewers. Um, Pre-recorded, yes, you can leave comments, but then it's up to them, the moderators and, and the person of that channel to come back at a later date and reply to those comments. Whereas I would rather have a conversation in real time uh, and that's also going to help, I guess, steer the channel uh, into what topics and what things get discussed. So that will sort of segue us into, uh, into as I said, the, the topics. So yes, it's a little bit's going to be about my life and not because I really think everyone needs to know about my life, but the name of this channel is A Vast and Curious Life. And for me, I have lived a pretty vast life and you're going to learn about that uh, if you continue to follow follow along um, and curious I mean I am a curious person I like to observe I like to um, try and unravel some of the mysteries of this life even though I know some won't be revealed until the end or, or never but um, yeah, I've had enough things happen in my life, both good and bad, where, yeah, I've questioned a lot of things and I've also been curious to try and figure some of that sort of stuff out. So, yeah, so we are going to talk a little bit about my life, my past, um, you know, where that's led me to where I am now in my life and hopefully where is that going to steer me uh, sort of into the future. Uh, travel adventures. I love to travel. Um, right now, I am based in Southeast Asia. Uh, I've been here for pretty much the the time of the pandemic, so it's about two years now. Um, you might hear from my accent. Um, to you, I don't know. I, I probably sound a little bit Australian, uh, and that's because I've lived about 15 years of my life in Australia. Um, but I'm originally Canadian born, so take that as you will. Um, and I've also got uh, heritage in, from New Zealand and from Scotland. So uh, I've been and lived in both places as well. Um, so yeah, I've been, as I said, uh, a fair bit around this, uh, around this planet. Uh, there's certainly a lot more places I'd love to go and hopefully as this pandemic thing starts to wind down and we can get into some sort of normality and some sort of sense of travel without the heavy restrictions uh, then yes you're going to see some of my um, travel this is not really going to be a travel vlogging channel uh, while I do love those channels and there is a fair few travel vloggers that I do follow uh, that's not quite the format that I want to have on this particular channel though you may see some travel videos or you know me doing this show from certain locations uh from time to time uh that's again that's a, that's a possibility so yeah 
Uh, music and movies, again, I, I love those reaction type YouTube channels. Um, but this isn't going to be exactly that. Um, there will be movies, quotes, um, stories from movies, things that apply to my life. And, and I like to live life through movies, if that makes sense, um, where everyday situations will remind me of a movie or, uh, yeah, something will happen that will remind me of a character or, or yeah, a certain scene from a movie. So no doubt that'll get talked about a lot. Um, music as well. Uh, I'm a big music fan. I do, I do love all genres and, and really all types of music, though I do lean more towards the kind of heavier, heavy metal rock stuff. Um, but, you know, as I said, I've got quite a wide range of uh, musical taste. And again, that's just from traveling and from um, work. I used to work in a music store, like a record CD store. So I got to listen to a lot of different things, worked with a lot of different people that obviously had very different tastes to mine. Uh, so you, you know, you naturally kind of pick up little bits of things. Um, and, and again, through the traveling, going to different countries and stuff. Um, so yeah, so we'll talk about music a, a fair bit as well. Um, the mysteries of life. I mean, yeah, without sounding too cliched or whatever, I'm not here to try and discover the meaning of life. Though I think there is things that will naturally come up in conversations and stuff um, that, yeah, I want to touch upon and, and have a conversation about um, and, and, and see if we can not necessarily work out the answer but maybe try and find some understanding or some different points of view on some stuff uh spirituality again without uh, sounding too woke or anything like that and again there's nothing wrong with that i've certainly had what i believe to be my version of a spiritual awakening um but more so how do we weave that into most people's everyday life because for me you know, spirituality, uh, while it has been a high focal point at different parts of my life, it's also then gone and taken a back seat and it kind of sort of does this thing where it ebbs and flows in my life. And I think that's just part of living life. You, sometimes you can just feel, feel real spiritual and feel real connection to something or someone or whatever. Um, but then other times you, in your life, uh, whether you forget or whether you don't feel a need to have it as prominent in your life, um, it kind of takes a bit more of a back seat. So we're, we're going to discuss that sort of stuff. Um, I've done ayahuasca uh, a number of times, so no doubt those conversations will come up. Um, recreational drugs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, for me, that's part of living life. Um, try it, see what you get from it, all that type of stuff. So, uh, so again, th th there'll be topics that, that potentially come up. Um, again, I, you know, a little side note, I'm aware of YouTube's obviously um, issues around, you know, certain things and all that kind of stuff. So take that as a as you will take it all with a grain of salt um single life yeah so i am single uh, i've been single for a while uh i've never married and i've never had children uh i'm 41 years old um and it's been something that from a young age i always thought was going to happen uh but as i got older and my life took different turns it's something that hasn't really eventuated. Um, could it happen in the future? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm certainly open to the possibilities, um, but I'm also quite happy with the life choices that I've made and I'm quite happy with the, the single life that I do have. And I know there's a lot of people out there that either feel the same or struggle with embracing a single life. So. I'm going to talk a bit about that because I feel like I can add a certain perspective and a certain opinion, a certain point of view uh, on that. 
and hopefully that can help other people out there as well. Uh, and, and same as the next one there, it says life as a single flame. Um, again, don't get me wrong, I'm all for the people that find their twin flame. I'm all for the people that meet the love of their life and live ha happily ever after. Um, but I also know that there is a portion of people on this planet that live life kind of as a single flame and society and you know, maybe Western life, Western culture, uh, isn't always necessarily set up for that or embraces it or there's some sort of stigma around that from time to time. Um, so I'm going to talk about that again. It's been a big part of my life. I, I, I certainly feel I can give um, some point of view and stuff on that. Um, and then, yeah, coaching in general. Um, it is something that I've moved into as part of a career uh, in the last few years, which is coaching. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily going to be talking about the clients that I have or clients that I have coached, though I will pick from stories and situations and obviously, you know, keep people's privacy uh, at, at a high. So, you know, uh, names and dates and situations will be changed to, to, to hide the identity of, of uh, those people and stuff. But what I mean by the certainly the coaching aspect is, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be in situations where, you know, I have been able to coach people to live a better life, to make different choices, to uh, to see things from a different point of view. And that's something that I feel like I do have a little bit of a talent uh, and a gift for. So I think that will naturally come out, but I just, I guess, wanted to preface that so that people watching this video or start to watch videos in the future don't sort of see this as a oh my god he's just trying to coach people and uh i wish i knew that or whatever again how this is all going to unfold and play out again that's still a little bit trying to find you know my feet for that sort of stuff but i just wanted to preface this that yeah, there will be some coaching, I guess, or coaching topics that come up or, you know, in, in a way I do envision that people will want to be on these live streams and will have questions and let's discuss that and let's talk about it. Uh, but again, all those details and stuff, they'll unfold as they naturally unfold. Uh, I just want to make people aware of that sort of stuff. So, cool. So that's a little bit of, uh, of an idea of the topics and where I kind of want this channel to go. Um, but yeah, touching on that more so, it's about the engagement. I really want to, this channel to be a live stream that allows people a place to engage, have a conversation, uh, whether, whether you and I agree on a topic or have the same point of view. Um, that's not a prerequisite for wanting to have a chat with me or not. Um, I'm open-minded enough to know that not everyone agrees with me and I certainly probably won't agree with everyone as well. But as long as we can have a healthy, open conversation about something, um, then that's what I want. That's what I'm here for. And that's what I'm hoping that this channel will uh, sort of bring out in the future. So, uh, so that's part of the reason for the live streaming, but also giving you an idea of those particular topics. Um, that's what I like, what I think I have a skill set in, uh, and where I think people who are potentially going to watch this may feel that like they can get something solved if they have some sort of problem or I've had some sort of life experience that they've not really been able to get an answer for or want a different perspective on it that's where i hope that this channel can kind of fall into um those those kind of slots and stuff so yeah so that's it for a first video um as i said i've rambled on for you know probably 20 25 yeah odd minutes now that's enough for a first video and i hope it kind of gives you a bit of a taste of what to expect Hopefully where this channel can go and certainly with, 
you know, your involvement, um, you know, that can pivot and change, which is fine. Um, but hopefully this has given you enough that um, you, you see something in me that you want to invest your time to watch these shows into the future uh, or, you know, be a part of it, whether it's through comments, engagement, um, coaching, whatever the case may be. So, so yeah, so as these uh, shows continue to, to roll out, um, yeah, the format might change up a little bit. Um, how things are presented might change, but that's just, as I said, I'm just going to naturally kind of go until I find a nice sort of sweet spot for that. Um, to answer those questions in your head, which are, well, how often are you going to do these shows or how often are you going to upload a video? Um, my commitment is to do this every day um, and, you know, really sort of turn this into something that as I said, I'm here for the long run. Uh, I've done videos and I've had other YouTube channels before. That's They've kind of fallen away, but my commitment is to really take this one long term um, and turn this into something that, um, yeah, will, will be pretty much my bread and butter, my pride and joy, and something that I'm going to invest a lot of my time and passions and, and things into. So how often I'll do a live stream yep the commitment is to do this every day uh how long will an episode be um in the beginning it's probably going to be about this anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes i think is a good sort of starting point uh as i said the format will be i will have topic topics for the day uh, or for the episode that i want to speak about um as more people subscribe and start to follow and comment you know that those topics can morph and change and and, and be changed and swapped around um that's fine i'm totally open to that within you know certain sort of parameters of that um but initially yeah these episodes probably will only be 20 to 40 minutes long and then you know hopefully it'll get pushed to an hour uh, and then maybe 90 minutes to two hours after that depending on yeah what you the viewers like watching uh where the engagement stays high uh if it can stay high for 90 minutes to two hours where um the same amount of people are watching from the beginning to the end or we have enough content that can fill two hours you know easily where there's bits of everything for everyone then again that's something we're just going to kind of play by ear um as as that kind of morphs and changes and sort of discovers itself um but yeah initially 20 minutes to 40 minutes i think is going to be fine and um yeah we'll run with that for a while um again uh, my intention is to do this every day and at least for the the first six to eight weeks uh, i envision trying to for follow uh, the particular format that i think will be what will um give me the most success give me the most chance to bring new viewers in we're going to kind of follow that format for at least six to eight weeks so then i can start to see the data um, and then once that data comes in um, if i feel that there's a there's something to change to tweak then we'll kind of make those tweaks but if i start changing everything every episode one it's going to look like a circus uh, two for you the viewer it's not going to be very enjoyable because you're kind of not going to know what's going on um so yeah so we're going to stick to a sort of a format some ideas and then make the changes as uh, as they come and as i sort of feel like they need to be made so yeah all right so let's gonna let's wind that up uh but certainly if you have come across this video if you have watched if stuck around uh thank you so much and i hope that uh even though you only get three seconds to really make a first impression uh i hope that you've stuck around and you see something in me see something in the channel see some potential that this might be something that you want to continue to invest um, your time in uh, I don't take that for granted I know everyone lives busy lives uh, pandemic or not uh, we've all got stuff going on so the fact that you have stuck around or potentially will keep giving this more of a chance more of a go into the future uh, again I, I, I thank you for that um, 
if you've watched this channel and it's not for you and you think ah, who the hell is this guy and oh god i've seen this is this is another guy trying to crack it on youtube or whatever that's cool too i get it i get it but um hopefully yeah you're open-minded enough to to give me a chance give me a few episodes and if i still don't uh, deliver what you want or you just don't feel like this is your jam that's cool too i totally understand and respect that as well so without further ado uh, we'll kind of leave it for there but um if you have enjoyed or you want to at least um follow me for the next couple of weeks couple of episodes whatever it is um then the best way to do that would be to subscribe use the force and subscribe you will yes all right so just as yoda said uh yeah subscribe that way you can help follow uh you'll know if you click the notification bell uh that will let you know when i do go live next so then if you are free and able to watch you can jump on um and also tells youtube that hopefully i'm doing something that other people will enjoy and that will just help sort of push the videos out to other people as well so yeah so i look forward to seeing you in the next video again uh, there'll be a bit more of a structured sort of format for the next one um like always as i said the comments uh are open so if you wish to leave a comment um on on this replay uh, i will be sure to get back to your comment uh, as quick as i can um if you do watch me on the next live video uh please don't be scared don't be shy jump on leave a comment and uh yeah would love to sort of you know engage with you and uh, make a connection and uh for all social handles for where else you can talk with me when i'm not on the live stream uh if you just go to the about me page or in the description of this video you'll see the other social handles that you can come find me on uh but i hope to see you yeah live and talk to you on on another uh another episode of the show so thanks so much wherever you are in the world have a fantastic day have a fantastic night and look forward to seeing you on the next video all right this is paul walker saying see you around bye Thank you.